One of my, I guess, favorite bits of playing with augmented or modified or drum sets with stuff or with bits or, or with any of that is the, there's, there's a dynamic range that's bigger than how quiet we can get. So for example, like little speakers, even though they're like, we can play on the drums quieter than that, those sound smaller. So like, like we can get sounds like with, with objects and stuff that, that are because of the the, psych the psychoacoustic thing, like it sounds like a tiny little speaker, it sounds like a little phone or something like that, that it shrinks even smaller than what any anything that we can do. And I, it's one of the things I really like about this, these kinds of instruments or this kind of playing where we have a, a, a big dynamic range as we normally do from percussion, but it, it goes even bigger because of this perception of smallness, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah totally. I mean, we're well, been thinking about possibilities of expanding the the drum kit as as a standard instrument, and this is one of the ways we can achieve a bigger dynamic range, other timbres, other sound sources, other ways of playing. Because maybe we all felt at some point that the drum kit was so standardized as an instrument, you know, from the rock language, the jazz language, especially mm. that it was, you know. Preparing the drum kit was was the the necessary uh, way. Yeah, and yeah. for me, I, I totally agree. And it, it's interesting to see. I mean, I, I I don't know what what your setup would have been had we like paid this somewhere else. Like had had you just had stuff. Because for me, even though I, I do love all the preparations, I still love drum set. Like it's still it's all this stuff, but there's like a snare. It's like the snare mm -hmm. is like a kind of a core of it. Like it could be anything. It could be any uh, any other object like having a resonant surface is useful but it doesn't have to be a snare but it is you know so like there's something about um moving away from it but for me still enjoying yeah because also also for me you know i, I started as a drummer and my, still after many years uh, and after many deviations from the drum kit uh drums is the drum kit is what I consider still the my instrument because it's something that you sit and you have some movements that are already there. So you do this and you know that it's a snare drum. And the way you perceive, the way you feel the instrument, it's also very important to to feel it as a as an instrument. You know, it's it's still a drum set, but with your things, but it's not something completely new all the time. Uh, and this makes it evolve as a more solid drum set around you. Because, mm. uh, you know, you probably feel this with electronics. Every time you change a setup, it's like playing a new instrument. Yeah. And it's good because it's fantastic here discovering new things, but sometimes it's, it can be also frustrating because you're start, starting from scratch all the time. So, you know, having like a, a drum kit where you can move around sometimes gives you this confidence about you know, having an instrument. Yeah. How, how do you find it when you when you add new like physical objects to like a, a drum set? So like if you get some crotales or like some of the metal things that you've made, does that feel like relearning the instrument to an extent, or or do you feel 
is it just now part of the drum set if that makes sense well you always need to adapt to playing because you know some things stay with me for a long time for for instance i know these rocks very well uh, these tin cans <laughs> i know it, i know most of the objects i need to get a relationship before right. I attach them to the drum kit. I need to know very well how this sounds to, to play it here. And then, of course, you always have these percussion dilemmas, which is how I'm going to <laughs> put this and without resonances, without touching each other. But, I mean, I think this is all part of the percussion pack. Yeah, <laughs> when yeah. you're a percussionist, you have to deal with, with these things like, you know, finding the proper yeah. ways <laughs> and then they move out of place but you also don't want them too much attached because then you cannot remove them quickly so yeah, yeah you a... need to constantly relearn a few things but I think the um, it's still a drum set yeah, yeah and I also like very much that idea and actually in the last years I've been trying to get more into the drum set again mm. Yeah, and to a certain extent, like the, like as you did, like the snare, like it's it's a surface and it's here, and mm. even as, as like a played snare or is a surface to put resonating objects on, or when you have a bigger kit like the tom, like as much as I shrunk my drum set over the years, I still kept that, you know, like the the tom and the snare, just because they're really good surfaces and they're just there, and you can kind of do what you need. Yeah, shall we play some more? Yeah, sure. Let's <laughs> go. 